Hi everyone, how are you? It is B. Welcome to my channel, Psychic Sounds by B. Thank you so much for joining me. This particular reading is for all signs of the zodiac for the week commencing on the 17th of um, February. <laughs> I have to remember what freaking month it is. It is going by so, so fast. All right, guys, thank you so much for all your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. I certainly do appreciate it. For those of you that would like to subscribe to my channel, please make sure you click on the notification button and the little bell. Make sure that bell is wiggling for all notifications. For those of you that would like a membership to my website to access all of the extended readings for the month, the love readings, and all of the other additional um, extended psychic astro, you can certainly go to the link below and go ahead and go there and get your membership there. You can cancel anytime you like. All right, guys, we are going to get right into it. So let me go ahead and let me open this up here. And guys, please keep the comments coming. From what I understand, you guys do like that these readings are separate now. My Psychic Astro is going to be separate than my Psychic Tarot. So some of you um, really like one as opposed to the other, and some of you like both. Um, I hear that it helps because I can slow down a little bit more and give a more thorough message, especially if I get downloads coming in. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Now we are going to get right into it, ladies and gentlemen. Um, this is for the week commencing on February 17th through February 23rd of 2020. So the phrase for this upcoming week is get her done. All right. February 20th of 2020, Jupiter and Capricorn sextiles Neptune in Pisces at 17 degrees. On or around this day, expect to be doing several things at once. Running around with errands, shuttling children from place to place, etc. Now is a very good time to do what? repairs, renovations, especially with anything related to water, pipes, sewage, drainage, sinks, plumbing, and yes, even a safe liquid detox will do wonders right now. This is a very empowering day as you will feel as though there is not much you cannot accomplish. For some reason, this is a very good day to sage the home and remove any stuck or negative energy. This energy is absolutely beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Utilize this energy for massive clearing and to kind of re-empower yourself. Um, February 21st of 2020, Mars in Capricorn trines Uranus and Taurus at three degrees and Mars in Capricorn squares Chiron and Aries at three degrees. Let it go. Let it go. Someone does not like a change of status. This is likely due to the fact that they do not want their identity to change. This could be a breakup, a separation, a divorce, or other status level because someone did not put the effort into a relationship when they had the chance. They are now facing tension and forced healing due to either their or someone else's inaction. A third party or other interference may have gotten in the way. Communication through letters, social media, gossip, or text or phone was how all of this information had transpired. One of the people in this dynamic may be coping with this loss or with this forced healing through staying busy at work or doing lots of errands to get their mind off of things, even though they may have been quite lazy in the past. However, someone else likely gained in status or identity due to taking action or putting in the hard work to make it successful. Now guys, I wrote this two weeks ago. I am now that far ahead. So this energy, if you're not dealing with it now, you're gonna be dealing with it here in the next week, absolutely. On February 22nd of 2020, the sun in Pisces sextiles Uranus and Taurus at three degrees. On or around this day, there is illumination and support for research, hospitals, institutions, unconscious, subconscious, psychic abilities, sacrifice, unconditional love, and or Pisces people. Here, something rather unexpected may come up regarding any of these items, especially if they have to do with the home, possessions, self-value, the money you make from the company you work for or the company that you own. There is some type of special communication on or around this day, so keep your ears to the ground. Something will be coming up here that you need to pay attention to. February 23rd of 2020, Venus in Aries squares Jupiter in Capricorn at 18 degrees. This day will not be easy. There is tension at this time regarding someone's overinflated ego. Someone is entirely put off by someone's conceited behavior. 
a feeling of, I am the best that has ever been with absolutely no evidence to back it up. In fact, it is the opposite. They say that they are the savior when they are actually Satan, okay? And when I, um, when I actually got that message, it was a download that I got. So that's going to make sense for some of you out there. It is time to put an end to the facade. So basically, this type of energy is where someone is trying to sell somebody a bridge in San Francisco. All right. Um, somebody is trying to put out there something that they are not. Okay. Someone is... I almost feel as though someone's true colors are certainly coming out and it's definitely different than what people had envisioned uh, that they were. It's almost like it's a wake up call for a social group or some, something to, to that extent. All right. Okay, guys, there is your psychic astro for the week. Short, sweet, to the point. For those of you that are members to my website, please join me over there for your uh, Psychic Astro Extended, where I go through these energies once again, and I give you the extended messages that I got when I wrote all of these down, as well as perhaps I may go ahead and pull some more cards for my beautiful members. All right, thank you everyone for supporting me on my channel, and for those of you supporting me with membership to my website, I certainly do appreciate it. I wish you much light, much love, and many blessings. Namaste.